everybody it's you flock up back again with another madden youtube video today if you guys cannot tell my nose is stuffy my voice is kind of gone yes i think we're getting the flu or something i have no clue we're coming but we still got to make the videos jalen phillips brand new card it's free a 92 overall this is amazing for nobody spent this is amazing for normal teams i am a 91 overall team and i am going to be using jalen phillips this card is a very very good card as well we're going to go over stats everything how to get them and then we're going to get into a game and see how we plays out there but if you guys enjoy videos like this make sure to smash that like button one like can help this video out so so much and also hit that sub button we are on that road to 10k appreciate you guys so much let's get right into it you take your gameplay to the next level make sure to check out civil.gg to look at the two membership codes right here for the best ebooks inside of the game use code shoe for 25 percent off as you guys can see it does take 80 stars inside of the gridiron forge milestones it's not hard to do at all i did it within an hour and 10 minutes and i was slacking as well because I was a little late on it, but Jalen Phillips. So I, it might've been even 45 minutes. They're very easy, very, very easy challenges. Jalen Phillips, a very solid card. The card art is fire as well, too. If you guys do not know, he does get two times dolphins come. So if you wanted to make that switch to dolphins, now it's even easier, but 90 base speed, 91 Excel for a pass rusher is amazing. 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 86 strength. Isn't bad either. He's not small. He's 260 pounds. So that is a solid, solid build 88 block shed. We wish that was a 90 but 89 still is gonna be solid after the power the power up and then an 82 power move is a little low but he does have that 90 finesse move we're really here for that speed that speed is gonna be amazing if we can get some free rushes send him on some blitzes off the edge he's gonna be amazing i don't know if he has any good zone on him no zone so you're not gonna be really dropping him but he's like he's a speed rusher basically he even says it on his card anyways let's slap on some abilities and let's get right into some games with this card anybody wondering what abilities he gets this is the third slot right here so these are all the abilities he will get this is the unpowered up version i don't think he unlocks anything new with the powered up at all but i am going to be going with unpredictable i think this is one of the best pass rushing moves in the game hopefully we can get lucky with this one anybody that wants to know how to get this card or how i got it for free it's super simple go over on to challenges and then you want to go to the gridiron forge and get 80 stars you can see how easy it is you can even get packs along the way a pro fantasy pack a gridiron pack and even an elite pack if you want to go even farther i'm not a big fan of this play but i think it could work a little bit here we're gonna have this low pass not a bad ball at all to start off with it's gonna run up the middle get this nice little first down so we have a little bit of cushion here are we gonna get that next oh we oh randy come on randy if i got through i think that other guy behind him is probably gonna catch us down if you guys hear any voice cracks anything my like i said my i am sick so we are trying to record this as best as possible looks like we're gonna have gronk on the sideline nice little toe tapper yeah, it's out of this defense. Let's see you. He spread out his defensive line. We should be able to run right through it. And Haloti not is going to shed like crazy there. We still get three yards, surprisingly. To be smart with the ball here, can we get a nice play underneath? I know I had A wide open, but we're going to have Y wide open as well. He is clicking on, so this is good news. We're going to actually hurry this one up. I really want to get a score fast, so I like Jalen Phillips. I'm super excited about this card. I think this card is underrated. A lot of people are already talking about training, everything, but I really do like him. Gronk blocking two people as to get another first down. Trying to punch this in ASAP so we can get this going. Looks like we're not going to have anything on this play. Uh, we're actually just going to throw this away. Not even worth risking anything. My favorite money plays inside of the end zone. This play is a beaut. Can we get some big plays out of it? Looks like we're going to have this drag. He actually mans it up. And he has a lineman in coverage too. This is very weird defense. I think he's playing very unpredictable. That's why it's a little hard to guard it right now. We get third and goal. Can we get a touchdown? Looks like we might have X wide open if he would have reacted the right way. I don't know why I'm still throwing it, but we did. Um, do we go for this? I think we do. And goal. This is a huge, huge, huge play. Can we get a nice touchdown? We do need it very badly. And it looks like we're going to have Brandon Cooks wide open. That's basically a route to make your, your user chick pick either or the drag or the zig route it's it's, it's going to be wide open every time the exact same play is he going to pick the the zig route or that crosser looks like our zig route actually glitched so that was not good at all and we might have x wide open a nice two point inversion eight point lead great great cushion now for the defense let's go make some plays with jalen phillips a linebacker he's going to run first play so it's going to be very hard he does good news is he does have a very very fumble heavy running back hopefully he land a couple of hit sticks and four 
force a turnover. You guys can see the red gloves. He does have that drip with the tape on his arm as well. He is looking very, very solid back there. Another run and Jalen Phillips actually making a huge play in the run game. I think that was a tackle for loss. He does it. I just don't think he does. We're going to blitz here though. We do need a big play. Is he going to throw right away at our hard flat? And he's even spamming Y. He's still hurtling. This is about his, un oh my goodness. He just turned the worst play in the game to that. And look at Jalen Phillips still making plays down the field. Not gonna lie, we missed the interception on an awful read, and it looks like he's gonna have a big chunk of yards. Zeke just broke two tackles right there. I don't understand it. But let's see, are we gonna be able to bag the trap if he runs it here? We have our hard flats, so he shouldn't be able to throw in the flats, and we should be able to stop the run with everybody pinched like this. No way he runs after all those audibles, too, is he? Two, one, and he's gonna throw the ball. Is he gonna have a dot? He's gonna throw a hard flat again. Cam Chancer, finally. We got cheated on it earlier. We get it this time. Let's go, baby. In. Easy, easy first down. And we're getting blocked by our own player. They, I'm telling you, EA is watching. I don't know how they're watching because I'm not live, but they are somehow watching and telling they do not want me to get this first. Not much I could do there, but fourth and one. We need a first down here. This could be an awful, awful play. It could be a very, very good play. Looks like I'm going to force this and we're going to get it. Oh my. That's EA saying, okay, okay, we cheated you. Now let's cheat him a little bit. Feeds out of this. He's going to leave the flat open every play. I mean, I hate being this guy, but if you're going to run blitzes and not adjust out of them we gotta do that we get a nice little run up the middle I, I, Gronk's done he's done he's done he's literally done oh you Gronk does not want to see us win at all it's actually disturbing and we're gonna have a nice little dot from Brandon Cooks easy easy plays we're running a little low on this time probably should have just called a timeout there but you guys know you do have to block your player fully now if you want to block the tight end a delay fade does not even block at all looks like we're gonna have Brandon Marshall maybe that's a bad read save us oh he's just that was just bad user by our our, our opponent right there guy like that uh Brandon Marshall is six foot five, and you're using Ed Reed. I don't even know what he was doing there. We might have this guy on the sideline. Easy, Brandon Cooks. Let's go, baby. We want to get him a sack here, but like I said earlier, it's almost impossible to force a D lineman to make a lot of plays. But looks like we're gonna get a nice little stop right here. He's gonna throw it up. Yeah, that's about as easy as it gets. We're gonna dance on him. Hopefully, make him a little mad. Kind of want him to tackle us so he stays in the game. We're gonna fumble. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Now, um, I did expect a tackle here. All right, um, not good by us. That's literally karma at its finest, but good news is he is going to stay in the game. Hopefully we can get a stop here. All right, running on two-point conversions and getting blocks like that, that is just EA blessing you and kissing you at its finest. First off, stop the run and then win the game. That's literally the recipe of winning this game. And he's not even going to start with the run. Let's see what he's going to do here. He's going to throw right at us, a very bad read by him, but we were a little bit late to it the pass rush to go through that's like literally the only thing killing us he audibles to a different formation here bunch he's going over to bunch i don't know if our opponent can handle bunch let's see what he does out of he's making audibles he might have a dot cooked up he might have the dot cooked up here and he's gonna throw right at the guy that the one that's covered and he's gonna make a great catch tj is just going all for him but we gotta guard tj better tj has literally every single catch for our opponent right now is he gonna run here on third or first down he hasn't ran yet is he manually chewing? No, I think he's just audibly. I don't know what he's doing. He's not chewing clock. I don't think. He's going to throw into a hard flat again. I mean, oh, man, we need to get there, Cam. We need to get there faster. I want to do that, like, to get him over here, make, make a couple plays down there for me, hopefully. It looks like we're going to bag right there. Jack Youngblood getting a huge sack. I don't understand the hurry up thing with Madden players. He's hurrying up after almost throwing a pick and getting sacked. Can we get a nice little play? Looks like we're going to scream. Oh my God, Adrian Phillips almost made a pick. Fourth and 22. There's just no way he stays in this game if he doesn't get this. We're, oh my, he's literally quick snapping on his biggest play of the game. And he's going to throw right to our brand new team of the week, Adrian Phillips. Easy peasy defense. Let's see if we can get a first down or even a big play. It looks like we're going to have that easy. Trevon Moore, you're just too slow nowadays. I left two clock on, and I really have no time at all to really get the play I want off here. So this is going to be a very, very, very messy play. And it looks like we're going to actually have this wide open. And no way. That's the route that I usually motion. We get a first down. That's actually nuts. Win ourselves the game if we can score here. Looks like we're going to get an easy walk-in tutter. Three minutes left. There's almost no way he wins this game. I don't think it's possible. He might have that streak wide open. Nice little dink and dunk inbounds to 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we won this. I, I'm already writing it off. He could score all. Well, we won the game. We won the game. He, if we're gonna be, if that's the routes we're throwing on the field down this much, and he's let. Oh man, no audibles. He took that long too. Looks like we have an absolute bag, and he's gonna throw right at us again. And Kittle is gonna moss our six foot two corner. I know Kittle's taller than him, but man, what is that? Well, I'm going to keep on putting out perfect defense to guard stuff like that. And hopefully he doesn't keep on chewing us again. And we're going to get an easy pick, Delta O'Neal, to end the game. Appreciate you guys sticking around in the end. Make sure to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. I don't know much you could do to get the card involved inside of gameplays like that, especially in like a magnified gameplay. But at the end of the day, it's a really solid card. Very good for no money spent, theme teams, even players like myself who could just use a player there to fill in. Very, very good card. Appreciate you guys. Again, make sure to smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.